Thank you. Thank you very much for your presentation and uh, for to the all uh, the organizer for the invitation to be take a, a, a talk here. And uh, it is uh, now ascertained that, that the pathology suite, our digital pathology platform for imaging, scoring, and reporting the quantitative bright field and fluorescent samples. And then uh, uh, by the procedure, uh, after image capture of the uh, region of interest, pathology suite automatically analyzed and scored the samples. And uh, within, the se within the seconds, pathologists obtain accurate and objective statistical analysis. But what is a spectral pathology laboratory? Uh, patho spectral pathology laboratory is uh, focused on uh, the development of new lab free imaging approach that uh, allow pathologists to identify additional information embedded within the tissue. And uh, the technology is based uh, mainly on the Fourier transform infrared spectroscopy and other spectral imaging approach uh, to address translational research question. Uh, there is a lot of technology, but also there, is, uh, there are, have been published uh, 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 several seminal papers on this field of research. Uh, for example, I report this, uh, this paper, a label-free approach by infrared spectroscopic imaging for integrating the biochemistry of diabetic nephropathy progression by the group of Dr. Michael Walsh uh, from uh, Chicago, uh, who applied uh, this kind of technology in the clinical practice, uh, in, the, in particular in the study of the uh, um, renal fibrosis and the kidney disease. But also uh, other papers have been published recently. Uh, for example, in PLOS One, uh, a monistochemistry profiler, an open source plugin from the quantitative evaluation and the automatic scoring of a monistochemistry image of human tissue sample. And uh, uh, in the abstract, the, 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 the authors underline that uh, uh, till today, over most of the world, pathological analysis of tissue samples remain a time-consuming and subjective procedure, wherein the intensity of antibody staining is manually judged and thus scoring decision is directly influenced by, by visual bias. And uh, in scientific reports recently, this paper underlined the concept of uh, tumor heterogeneity. And this concept will be important in, the, in, the, in, the, in, this, uh, in this kind of talk. Uh, and uh, it is my pleasure to, to, to underline that this uh, uh, review, important review, on uh, the spectral imaging in preclinical research and clinical pathology, published on analytical cellular pathology that resume uh, the technique, but also the limitation and the uh, pitfalls and the, and, the, and the advantage of this kind <coughs> of uh, uh, technique. But uh, when I hear one year ago on histopathology, uh, was published, both in all, published a paper entitled Digital Pathology, Elementary, Rapid, and Relapable <coughs> Automatic Image Analysis. And in their abstract, uh, they introduced this kind of concept, slide digitalization has brought pathology to a new era, including powerful image analysis possibility. However, while being a powerful prognostic tool, immunostaining automated analysis on digital images is still not implemented worldwide in routine clinical practice. Uh, these terms are really important because uh, elementary, rapid, and reliable, because we have uh, many fields in the, in the, in the, in the, in the uh, digital pathology, for example, the image storing, the quantitative pathology, and the telepathology. And uh, these terms uh, change their means by 
if you if you uh, if you speak about image and storing, if you uh, speak about quantitative pathology or telepathology. Another important concept is, uh, in my opinion, is that the technology is not science, but technology is a help to understand and uh, to better comprehend the uh, molecular or, uh, bio or, or, or uh, cellular events underlying a, a, a disease, a, a, a pathological process. And uh, I would like to present some concept with uh, some examples of preliminary uh, concept uh, that uh, uh, have been used uh, in other fields of research, but not in the morphological science. Uh, so we have uh, many technological devices, but uh, uh, in our mind, uh, I think it is important to understand what we see under the microscope. And in particular, the concept of uh, uh, special organization uh, is a, a, a common concept in, uh, in general in organic, organic, and particularly biochemistry. And uh, uh, this concept has a fundamental role in the study of molecular uh, structure, for example, DNA, RNA, proteins, and carbohydrates, and, and so on. We know that uh, the biological polymers that have been most widely studied are uh, surely uh, uh, um, proteins and nucleic acid. And uh, it is now ascertained that the information and accepted that uh, the information needed to determine the three-dimensional structure of a protein is contained in its linear amino acid sequences. But we have uh, different, uh, uh, different structure of DNA, for example, but only B DNA and zeta DNA have been directly observed in functional organisms. And we know that changes in, the, in, the, in pH, temperature, or pressure may alter the three-dimensional structure of a biological molecule and thus change its specific function. However, the definition of uh, spatial organization or conformation of a microscopic or macroscopic anatomical structure and the definition of a change in its shape are still debated by contemporary morphologists. I report the uh, seminal book from Darcy Thompson that was uh, one of the most important mathematicians that uh, uh, tried to describe the, the, the uh, animal forms and the biological forms uh, in uh, mathematical terms. However, before Darcy Thompson, other uh, uh, um, scientists uh, uh, in uh, uh, Albert Durer or uh, Francis Galton tried to describe with the, the geome geometry uh, the, the, the forms that uh, they see uh, 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 in, the, in, the, in, the, in the biological, biological uh, set. And uh, when, when you look at issue, uh, the term structure defines the properties resulting from the configuration of the parts. For example, the cells that form a whole and their relationship to each other and to the whole itself, for example, the tissue. And we have two main properties of all anatomical system that can be highlighted. Uh, that every anatomical structure is capable of expressing a particular function in a particular environment, and that the different configuration and function of an anatomical entity emerge from structure organized in overlapping hierarchical levels. We know that human cells differ in their shapes, dimension, and size. But some cells have a specific, particularly and consequently invariable characteristic shapes, uh, whether they are isolated or grouped to form tissue. Other cells are subject to conformational changes that depend on the action exerted by the environment, the compression induced by contiguous cells, the relationship between the cells and the intra and extra force, 
And for example, when we look at uh, a liver section, we found the hepatocyte that, that is uh, the, the, the most uh, 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 present cells uh, in, uh, in this, uh, this kind of organ uh, that assume a, a like polygonal forms. But when we uh, put the, the, the hepatocyte in a liquid, uh, uh, we, we the change uh, drastically changes and uh, uh, the hepatocyte assume a form like a, a rounded shape. Uh, the compression induced by contiguous cells, we know two phenomena that are called uh, hyperplasia and hypertrophy. This uh, uh, change, hyperplasia, uh, is, uh, is uh, 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 an increase in the number of cells, and uh, hypertrophy is uh, an increase in size of the cells. In addition, we have uh, uh, a particular in, uh, subcellular structure that is uh, the, 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 uh, the, the network of filaments, uh, the filaments that uh, uh, are <coughs> really important to the cytoskeleton that is important to determine the shape of a cell. And uh, in this case, uh, we can see uh, the relationship between the cells and the abnormal extracellular matrix. So for example, in this case, uh, a pancreatic uh, cancer, where it is present a lot of uh, so-called desmoplasia, and in red is the accumulation of collagen fibers. And in this case, uh, you can see how the liver structure is uh, completely changes the when the, the, the patient is affected by fibrosis, and this is a, a macro nodule. And uh, the fact that all anatomical system can be classified on the basis of their appearance is an important indication that uh, each has a specific form. Uh, in this paper, uh, entitled Different Types of Tumor Vessels in Breast Cancer Morphology and Clinical Value, underline that the uh, uh, other, other than uh, angiogenesis is a key factor for tumor progression, uh, that uh, 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 the form of the, the, the vessel uh, is uh, really important for the progression of the disease and uh, for the overall survival and uh, uh, disease-free survival of the patients. And uh, they conclude that the strong correlation on lymphovascular invasion with uh, a, a particular type of uh, 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 vessels and the atypical uh, dilated capillary testify that the cavitary type of angiogenesis may play a significant role in the formation of tumor emboli in the vessels. And this is uh, an example how the authors have classified the vessels based on the form, and they have correlated the form of these vessels with the prognosis of the patients. And uh, another concept uh, that is, uh, uh, I mean, it, it is important is that the different configuration and functional and functions of an anatomical entity emerge from structures uh, organized in overlapping hierarchical levels. Uh, in fact, we can uh, 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 represent the complexity of the anatomical structure in a graph with a hierarchical level because we can study uh, the, 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 the biological system at the molecular level or at subcellular entity, for example, the change of mitochondria and other, other uh, organelles at the level of cells, at the level of tissue, of the organs, or the apparatus, or the entire organism. And more increase the complexity, more increase the hierarchical level. And uh, this uh, uh, led to a, a particular definition of dynamical approaches and the change in shapes and therefore function 
can be considered a dynamic approach that advances through states that are qualitatively different. This is an example of a normal or natural liver shapes and a transformed liver, serotic liver. And uh, we have two, briefly, two definitions uh, that uh, are the state, the whole state, that indicates the pattern configuration of a system in a particular instant, and that a dynamic system can be characterized by a set of different states and number of transition from one state to another over a certain time interval. And the speed of change. The speed of change is the time necessary for a change in shape to occur or for the development of perceptible difference between the modified entity and its unchanged reference system. However, the parameter time depends on a large number of variables that are interconnected in a complex number of pathways, and this makes it extremely difficult to predict the exact time interval between two successive states. In uh, 1988, uh, Leon Glass and Michael Mackey, in their book From Clocks to Chaos, report for the first time the, the definition of dynamical disease as uh, in many different diseases like for example cancer but not only cancer the natural organization breaks down and is uh, replaced by an abnormal spatial partner and this disease characterized by abnormal temporal organization are called dynamical disease this is a, a simple uh, 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 schema in which you can see the steps and the state from the natural tissue, in this case is the uh, 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 origin of hepatocellular carcinoma, and we know uh, 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 from the natural tissue to chronic hepatitis, to cirrhosis, to dysplastic nodule, to hepatocellular carcinoma, and eventually metastasis. So we have different states and transition between one state to another. And this is a typical uh, uh, dynamical, dynamical system. But uh, uh, it is very important to underline that the histological section uh, is only a snapshot of a dynamical disease. And uh, another question uh, uh, the main question is how can you get histological images? And what is beha behind, behind a histological picture? Uh, so this is to come back to uh, 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 more technology, but in my opinion is very important, the so-called pre-analytical phase. Uh, and uh, in the pre-analytical phase we have the so called sampling, fixation, processing, embedding, cutting, and staining. And briefly, uh, uh, sampling uh, is, a, is a gathering of matter from the body to hide in the process of medical diagnosis, evaluation, or uh, other procedure, for example, the digital pathology. The fixation inhibits the so called autolysis and uh, uh, um, uh, putrefaction. Formal infixation will affect every subsequent step that the tissue has to endure, and it maintains the relationship between cells and extracellular components. Usually, in our laboratory, uh, we, uh, uh, the duration of fixation is normally 24 hours, uh, and we know that uh, if we change uh, the time or change in the concentration, maybe uh, 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 maybe uh, um, change the, the normal the normal uh, process of fixation. For example, may affect, as seen in these kind of images, uh, we have uh, uh, an overfixation of the tissue. And this cannot be analyzed, obviously, 
um, by using a quantitative approach that give an uh, objective number. Uh, embedding uh, is the paraffin. Embedding uh, uh, is the standard method used in histology to produce block or tissue for section cutting by uh, a micro tome. And uh, normally we use two, four micrometer section uh, for the uh, image analysis process uh, with different uh, uh, technology. And an important, cut, uh, an important uh, 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 term is, uh, is that, uh, is that the we can have a, a longitudinal section, for example, or transversal section. And uh, in, a, in, a, in a section that uh, can be analyzed under the microscope, we have never uh, this regular structure, but it is a, a, a commission of co cross section, oblique section, longitudinal section. And this change in, uh, in the evaluation of uh, the quantitative parameters under the study. And this change, the, uh, the so-called intrasample variability, the intersample variability and the interpatient variability. The main phases uh, uh, to be proceed with uh, uh, different uh, technology from uh, uh, a, a, a simple microscope to a more complex microscope is the study design, the prananitica standardization, the data collection, the analysis, and the results interpretation. Another aspect is the use in the image analysis uh, the tissue macroarray, in particular, uh, whether are small tissue fraction representative of a patch disease. This is a, a most important question. There is a, another aspect, a biological aspect, a biological aspect, because uh, in, uh, in 1996, uh, Kinsler and Fogelstein published a seminal paper on cell where they report that a large body of evidence supports the idea that accumulated genetic change underlying the development of neoplasia. This multi-step process is well illustrated by colorectal cancer, which typically develop over decades and appear to require at least seven genetic events for completion. But the importance of this paper is that uh, uh, um, in uh, Kintzler and Vogelstein, uh, proposed the advancement of uh, the cancer <laughs> as a, a gen genetic, only genetic change in the uh, 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 neoplastic cells. And proposed uh, in, uh, in the same paper uh, this kind of uh, exemplification from normal epithelia to metastasis and report the genetic mutation from APC, KRAS, P63, and other change probably. Uh, but uh, one year ago, this uh, concept changed. And uh, in, uh, in the paper published on natural immunology, uh, Turley et al. indicate that a dynamic and mutualistic interaction between tumor cells and the surrounding stroma promote the initiation, progression, metastasis, and chemoresistance of solid tumors. And in this case, we have not only the tumoral cells, but a set of different cells in different states of uh, activation, for example, fibroblast, uh, myeloid cells, immunitary cells, and uh, uh, other epithelial cells, vessels and other kind of cells. So we have a, a so-called ecosystem and not only the, the uh, uh, neoplastic cells. This uh, can be... Okay. And uh, we, have, uh, we have now available many technologies uh, to quantify the uh, interaction between uh, different cells and uh, uh, in particular the shape and uh, how change this shape and to transfer from a qualitative and a subjective 
uh, tool in, in a, 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 an objective uh, uh, quantity or score. Uh, however, all these uh, technologies are mainly based on the so-called Euclidean principles of regularity, smoothness, and linearity. But uh, uh, this is not true because uh, uh, if, we, if you look at a, a, a cell or a tissue or in general terms a, a, a biological system, this is not reflect the uh, uh, Euclidean geometry parameters. Uh, Mandelbrot, in uh, his paper published on science, uh, introduced for the first time the concept of fractal geometry as a powerful means of quantifying the spatial complexity of real object. And he published his, his paper, How Long is the Coast of Britain? And I see that uh, recently also a group of students of the Trinity College in Dublin uh, try to uh, understand the uh, irregularity of the coastline, of the Ireland coastline, and uh, they found this kind of number uh, uh, that I, I will explain soon. In the, in the, in the, but what, what are fractal, uh, fractal entity, fractal structures? These are not uh, only an example of the, 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 the cost, the regularity, but if we, if we uh, look uh, a, 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 a perimeter of uh, that line of a cell, uh, it is uh, very regular in space. And uh, uh, in this case, the, the most important property are four, and uh, uh, are irregularity of the shape, cell similarity of the structure, not integral fractional fractal dimension, and this property that is the most important, the scaling, which means that measured properties depend on the scale at which they are measured. Cell similarity can be defined geometrically or statistically. Uh, an object is uh, geometrically cell similar when every small piece of the object is an exact or nearly exact duplicate of the whole object. For example, this kind of uh, uh, mathematical figure uh, that are interaction of a mathematical formula. However, anatomical systems uh, are characterized by a statistical cell, similar, cell similarity. And uh, for example, uh, the vascular system of the kidney, of the lung, or other kind of uh, particular uh, uh, biological system are characterized by a similar structure or, or a, a small portion of the entire structure is uh, similar but not the same uh, as the entire uh, uh, organ. And uh, uh, another the other concept is, uh, is uh, the concept is, uh, is uh, the dimension. Uh, we are known to uh, um, have uh, the topological uh, dimension that it uh, assign <coughs> an integral number to every point in Euclidean space. But the second uh, definition is uh, uh, the not integral dimension and uh, is uh, an intermediate dimension defined by Ma Benoit Mandelbrot uh, with the symbol D. And in this case, uh, you can see the point that has an Euclidean dimension uh, zero, a line, a monodimension, one, a square, two, and a three-dimensional structure with uh, a dimension three. However, when we analyze, uh, for example, a spectra or in a, 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 a more than two-dimension but not uh, like a surface, but not a complete three-dimensional structure, we have intermediate dimensions. So uh, uh, the cost, for example, is an irregular outline, 
and uh, its dimension is uh, between one and two. And in this case, this kind of surface, or called the mountain, is dimension is more than two, but not reach the three-dimensional. If we include a, a, a tree, for example, uh, the tree does not fill completely the three-dimensional structure. And this kind of approach led us to propose, for the first time, the quantitative evaluation and modeling of two-dimensional neovascular network complexity, introducing the, introducing the, 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 the fractal dimension. And this is the case of exemplify. And we have another concept here that is uh, the uh, or consideration that is uh, when a, a, a cut, uh, the, uh, cut the, the, the section, the histological section, I can found a different number of vessels. And actually, the number of vessels is a subjective measure made by the pathologist uh, with the so-called microvessel density. And uh, in our case, uh, we evaluate uh, the not only the, uh, the number of vessels, but also the pattern of distribution. Because uh, it is uh, our strong opinion that uh, uh, it is important to, under to, to, to understand the number of objects of a particular kind of cells, but it's very important also the spatial distribution of this kind of cells. And uh, methodologically, we have uh, a, 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 a histological images. We extract only the vessels in this case. And with a particular algorithm, we determine the so-called fractal dimension. In a, and uh, and uh, uh, in addition, uh, we uh, implemented a computerized procedure to understand whether the different uh, configuration of the vessels uh, is important or not. And we found that uh, by increasing the vessel number, we have an increase in the, the filling space of the structure. But we have also, for the same number of vessels, we have different uh, complexity. And these uh, uh, state that uh, and demonstrate that uh, uh, it is very important to quantify not only the uh, the, the uh, density of uh, vessels in this case, but also their uh, pattern distribution. And uh, since I work in a hospital. I need uh, to translate immediately what I found in uh, in uh, in the, the, the uh, from uh, in, the, in the bench at the bench uh, in, the, in my laboratory, and uh, uh, we published this kind of paper uh, in uh, prostate cancer. We uh, evaluate the two-dimensional neovascularity in uh, uh, 280 prostate biopsy sections. And we found that uh, uh, prostate tissue, prostate cancerous tissue, uh, is uh, lesser vascularized for when compared to non-tumoral tissue. And lead us to this uh, uh, question, is angiogenesis a hallmark of prostate cancer? Another example is uh, the quantification of liver steatosis with the same aspect and with the same uh, uh, um, computer either modeling and uh, uh, the inflammation in, uh, in, the, in the liver biopsy, for example, by using uh, the Delanois triangulation and is uh, enabled to define the distribution of inflammatory cells. And this is a, a, a particular study uh, to uh, understand the, the liver fibrosis in, uh, in, uh, in uh, uh, liver biopsy. And uh, we have selected uh, the, 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 the fragments, the collagen fragments. And uh, as you can see, uh, we have more 
uh, and most fragments that cannot see by under the microscope, but the, the, the computer either image analysis detect and count. This is a comparison between uh, the, the, the normal staging score made by the pathologist and the uh, computer aided analysis computer aided image analysis system. And this is the report after the, 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 the analysis with all of the data. Uh, this is a computer aided modeling of uh, uh, the degradation of liver fibrosis. And uh, this, uh, this is a, um, a conclude. Uh, this is a, a, a quantitative pathology worldwide standardization and uh, uh, the immunoscore for the, the, the cancer classification, in particular the, the, the colorectal right cancer and uh, the, the, uh, um, the inflammation uh, present. Uh, we are uh, present uh, in this group of uh, validation as uh, our institute. And uh, this is the table one in the, in the paper where we in the, in indicate the tumor selection, the sample preparation, immunohistochemistry, antigen retrieval, primary antibody, primary antibody diluent, secondary reagent, counter staining, auto stainer, scanner, digital pathology, and immunoscore quantification. So to indicate that also in a, 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 a study, multi, multi, multi uh, uh, center study, it is very important the, um, the pre-analytical analysis. And we applied pre before uh, in on Lancet Oncology, uh, the CD3 cells, uh, the invasive margin, and uh, the importance of uh, the uh, quantitative analysis uh, for uh, stage two uh, colorectal cancer prognosis. And uh, okay, I, I would like to to, uh, to underline that uh, it is important uh, the, the the mathematics of cancer and integrate uh, this concept with the technology that we have now and that we can uh, uh, use to define better the prognosis and translate our knowledge to the, uh, 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 for, the patients, uh, for the patients. And uh, we'd like to conclude that the, the hierarchical system, for example, in this case, a cancer, uh, we, can, uh, we can study the, 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 the cancer at the level of gene level, subcellular entity, cell, tissue, organ, apparatus, and organism. And for each of these, uh, uh, um, layer, uh, we have different property of the cancer, the cancer. And uh, uh, it is my opinion that the scientific knowledge develop through the evolution of new concepts and these approaches is usually driven by new methodologies that provide previously unavailable observation. Thank you very much for your attention.